What's up everybody, this is Daniel here. Today I wanna to talk about a very interesting topic that is becoming more and more relevant as time moves forward and the ability to generate business using online channels and online mediums is becoming more and more uh, viable but I guess even relied upon nowadays. And it's really the topic of how can you convert sales conversations from conversations that start online and actually generate business for your brick and mortar venue, okay? Often I think there's a preconceived notion that uh, social media or online channels to generate business are only really good for uh, online businesses. However, that's not true. If you are involved in a venue, whether it's a bar, restaurant, cafe, function space, wedding center, brewery, whatever it may be, uh, you have a very, very, very uh, large resource at your fingertips available to you in order to generate business online. So I wanna talk about how can you generate more inquiries from social media channels and how can you close those inquiries into pieces of business and how can you overcome some of the issues or hurdles that people often struggle with when they're trying to do this because I'm sure like like you like me we've all heard that you know get rich quick use social media and make heaps of money in order to uh, dominate your local market you've probably heard a lot of this sort of stuff out in the marketplace um, but how can how can you actually do that how can you generate leads and close deals for your brand and mortar venue uh, to close more private functions, private parties, and private events. Um, so I wanna break down a couple of interesting concepts here. So I'm gonna dive into the iPad um, and give you the breakdown of this concept. So what I wanna talk about is uh, inquiries, right? Most venues that we see really rely on what we call warm inquiries, okay? Warm inquiries are essentially inquiries that come through organically, okay? Somebody who's maybe done business with you in the past, maybe they're a local customer. If you're a bar and grill or a brewery or a winery, maybe you have like, you sell food and beverage normally, but you also do private functions or private events on the side. A lot of the inquiries you're gonna get are from people who are existing customers and, and come to you uh, for your dining experience and then you know they think of a place, where can I do a private event? And they think of you, because they remember, oh, you guys, you have a function space. So by the time they make an inquiry with you, they're really pre-sold, okay? Up until the point that they make an inquiry, they already know who you are, they already like the results that you can deliver in terms of the food and beverage. They know quite a lot of information about you because they've already done business with you. Or you could generate a warm inquiry from somebody who has heard a positive uh, piece of word of mouth, maybe uh, their sister or their brother has said some really good things about your venue, and then they make an inquiry off the back of that recommendation. That is also gonna generate you a warm inquiry. This is most of the inquiries that venues get, warm. They come organically. You don't really have a button that you can press or an action that you can take to generate more warm inquiries. They just come organically, right? That's what they are. That's awesome. That's the best piece of business that you wanna generate. However, it is limited because you can't control your lead flow. So this is probably the biggest common mistake that venues make. They only rely on warm inquiries, hence they don't have enough demand. They have uh, an underutilized function space because they have way more availability than demand coming through the door. So they say, hmm, how can I generate more inquiries? Uh, and then that's often why they would come to us. What they then actually have to do is they need to start reaching out uh, to the local market and promoting themselves, okay? Often people say, hey Daniel, I need to get the word out there. Essentially they're saying, look, we don't have enough demand and we need more people to know about us, so they make inquiries and buy our stuff. The problem is these inquiries that you generate off the back of marketing actions that you take as a business, they are gonna be much colder, okay? So you're gonna be generating colder inquiries. You run some ads, you do some promotion, you sign up to some websites that uh, are gonna promote your venue on your behalf. These inquiries you generate are probably from people who are not warm. They've never heard anything about your venue before. All they know is what they've seen on the advertisement. They might then go and do some due diligence. They might read some Google reviews. They might go on your website. They might look at the social media accounts you have. Then off the back of that uh, due diligence they've done, they'll then make an inquiry. But they haven't had any positive reviews from a trusted source. They haven't experienced the results that you deliver beforehand. So they, they really are colder. 
What this means is they're not reaching out to you really to make a buying decision. They're reaching out to you to learn a little bit more information and see if there's an opportunity for them to do business or, or, or plan the event that they're planning at your venue, okay? So the problem that most people have is their sales process is not robust enough to deal with cold inquiries, okay? So very common that a warm inquiry comes into the business, uh, maybe it's an email, someone says, hey, I'm planning a 21st or a 30th birthday party, um, I live around the corner, I went to a 21st birthday with you last year, I want to do something similar. Essentially, they're just wanting to buy, and they're saying, hey, can I do business with you? And the sales process can be very sloppy, it can be a very weak sales process. You could reply to their inquiry 24 or 48 hours later, still close the deal, and you could just give them essentially uh, a form to fill out. They'll fill it out and the deal will close. But you can't have that same sales process or selling approach if you're dealing with cold inquiries. Let's say you get someone on the phone uh, and they might just say, um, hey, yeah, I'm planning an event. I just want to learn a bit more about your venue and understand what is your price? How much do you charge? If you don't have a robust sales script or sales process at that point in the conversation, most likely your close rate from the cold inquiries that you get is going to be very low. This is a problem because a weak sales process is going to hold you back from being able to grow because you can't scale up your warm inquiry flow, you can only scale up your cold inquiries. If you can't close the cold inquiries that you get because your sales process is too weak, the problem is you have a blockage in the process itself. So refining the sales process to deal with cold inquiries is gonna be the main thing that is gonna to need to happen in order for you to grow in this scenario. And this is something that we see quite often. So if, uh, if you're looking to grow the number of inquiries that you have coming through your doors and you don't have an, there's just not enough warm inquiries coming in, you are gonna to have to focus on some marketing to scale up the, the demand that you have. However, that demand increase is gonna be much colder, okay? So you have to be able to deal with these cold inquiries through a site, uh, tight sales process. That's gonna come through repetition, but in some further videos, we're gonna dive deeper into how to build a robust, robust sales process for cold inquiries. Um, but just be wary of this issue because it is something that is very common. So keep an eye out for some further videos that we're going to release around how to navigate those initial sales conversations, whether it's via email, whether it's via phone call, how can you then turn those emails and phone calls into closed deals? That's going to be coming up in the uh, near future. So subscribe if you want to catch those videos. Also, any questions that you have regarding the marketing or sales strategy for your venue, um, feel free to leave a comment below uh, and we'll do our best to make some video responses for you. So I appreciate your time, guys. Thanks.